All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick video on how the Adafruit Servo Expander works with the Padawan system from Dan F. Um, basically, it's a 16 channel PWM servo expander, uh, means you can connect uh, up to 16 different devices, uh, servos, uh, motors, and um, LEDs. And you can also daisy chain uh, via I2C several of these to get around 900 or so servos um, it's again connected via i2c and i wrote up a code to control uh, the utility arms and uh, a few of the doors and the uh, Texmex ripper uh, jamie mcshann and i worked on uh, so basically i swapped a few of the uh, combos um, like the uh, volume uh, up and down it's uh, supposed to be R uh, plus a D, D pad up and down. So I change it to be all in L1. So volume is here and the brightness is here. As you can see, it changes the brightness instead of being up and down. Why? Because I need uh, this one for, for other stuff. Like for instance, I wanna do uh, the top utility arm. So I click that one and then use the, um, oh, Another thing, I swapped these two. This is now the drive, and this is the uh, um, uh, the dome. However, uh, you don't need to swap that. You'll only need to do the configuration for the utility arms to be the one that's on the dome, so that you don't mess up with stuff. So you press R1 and just move uh, the the stick up. I mean, you can control it like an analog uh, trigger. Then you use uh, R2 for the bottom one. If you want to do both, you click both and then just push this one that, like that. Now for the doors, I'm using R2 and the D-pad. So R2 plus left, it'll open the, uh, oh, sorry, R1. Uh, that's why I change it to, um, to eliminate the volume feature. So R1 plus left, it opens the left door. Close it again right opens the right door up will open the small door and down is the medium door but i don't have a servo in it yet so that's that's uh pending so um again if i open up the left door i can now trigger with l2 and up i take out the gripper and i use left or right to open the uh the gripper hand and then down to to take it back down to close it, R, R1 and left door. So that's pretty much it. Um, um, I'm gonna add on the right side, the uh, SCOMP link uh, or the CPU interface arm later on. And, and that's gonna be controlled with, uh, I believe it's gonna be R2. Um, that's all gonna be identical as far as uh, moving up and down um, and uh, rotating, extending, etc. So once that's done, uh, it should be uh, added in. To the code and i'm going to share the code uh, in the forums so that uh, you can implement your own thank you